Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, DJ Lamise doesn't mix music with politics. <laughs> you see what I did there? You know, she's a DJ mixing on the ones and twos, politics and music. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along, you know, DJ Lamise Hallworthy has been applauded by her fans for turning down political gigs. Now, Lamise revealed that she has turned down multiple gigs organized by various political parties. Yesterday, she wrote the following on social media. Turned down multiple gigs too wasn't the easiest thing to do but felt right. Now, in the comment section of that particular post, you know, her followers definitely did start applauding her for her decision. I mean, last week we were talking about uh, Makadzi being dragged for donning the ANC colors and performing at an ANC rally. We've also seen Dando Duma also being dragged for, you know, openly supporting and campaigning for the EFF. I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what uh, what you feel about Lemise's decision, you know, keeping political affiliation and her career separate, even though technically, you know, it could have helped her career in that sense of her getting more gigs. And also, I mean, is there a point where you can turn down gigs and say, you know what, enough is enough? But yeah, some of the comments on social media, you know, users are writing there, thank you for not selling your soul. So apparently, if you do perform at a rally for a political party, you are selling your soul. Personally, like we talked about last week, I see it as kind of getting your bag, working. Now, of course, it being on social media, there is the other side of the coin. Some users were writing things like that's a bad decision. If your fans would vote for a party because you're performing for them, then the quality of your fans is questionable. Voters must take responsibility for their decisions. In this climate, every gig counts, but yeah, well done. Yeah, going back to what I personally said, you know, at the end of the day, each gig counts as a monetary value in your bank account. And also, I suppose a follow-up question, if you saw your favorite artist performing at a particular political party event, would you then be inclined to vote for that particular political party? Because, you know, your artist is performing there. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, actress Noctula Litwaba shares ancestral journey. Noctula Litwaba has taken a spiritual journey and accepted her ancestral calling. Now, yesterday on Monday, the Abu Mama actress shared pictures of her weekend ceremony on Twitter. She posted a couple of pictures and captioned them, How was your weekend? And as you can see there by the pictures, it looks like she underwent her ancestral journey in those pictures. And I suppose that answers the question as to what she was doing this past weekend. Now, Noctula actually opened up about her journey a few months back in June. She posted two pictures of herself and said in one that she was running away from a calling and in the second that she had accepted it. So as you can see in this particular tweet from July, frame one, fighting and denying Lozi, frame two, accepting Lozi, taking the road less traveled, Ndingumanzi. So yeah, she also shared her new name, which is Manzi, roughly translated water. Now, according to the papers, they actually did try to reach out to the actress's management, but they declined to comment about her accepting her calling. They are quoted as saying Noctula is not doing any interviews regarding the subject. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is another South African celebrity who has answered the ancestral calling. Our next topic, Helen Ziller's voting station drama. So according to the latest reports, police watchdog IPID is investigating a case of assault against Eastern Cape police officer who is accused of dragging DA Federal Council Chair Helen Ziller out of the Fernwood Park Primary School voting station in Bethelsdorp on Monday. Now, an internal police report indicated that Ziller had opened a case of assault against the police officer after the incident. So let us take a look at that video of Helen Zilla being dragged out of the Fernwood Primary School voting station. Just take a picture of him. Take a picture of him. Why are you angry with handling her like a girl? Do this to her. She's like, hey, this is someone's mother. You have to do mine. This is someone's mother, sir. You don't Oh, my God. 
So yeah, that is basically the incident. Now, according to the report, Zilla said that due to the long queue, she walked down the line asking people to wait. Now, she further stated that when she got to the front of the queue, the ANC observers accused her of canvassing. The internal report continues that Zilla claimed an officer instructed her to leave the premises and threatened to arrest her and put her in the back of a police vehicle. Now Zilla then claims that she was frog marched out of the station and has accused the officer of twisting her arm and pushing her. The report also goes on to say that the cell phone that her colleague was using to film the incident was allegedly taken by the officer. So at this moment, the reports confirm that Zilla has opened a case of assault at the Battlestore police station. Now, the Independent Police Investigative Directorate, the IPID spokesperson Grace Langer, confirmed that the Eastern Cape office had received a complaint of assault against Zilla. So this is what the spokesperson had to say. The Independent Police Investigative Directorate would like to confirm that today, the 1st of November 2021, our Eastern Cape office received a complaint of assault and mishandling by police officers. It is alleged the police officers assaulted and mishandled Mrs. Helen Zille. The case was brought to our attention. We allocated an investigator who is trying to get hold of Mrs. Helen Zille and unfortunately the investigator did not succeed. We hope that by the end of today, the investigator would have managed to get hold of her. In this incident, it is also reported that one individual in this incident was taking a video. The police took the video away from this person and it was later returned and the person has opened a case of theft against those police officers. IPID will collect the docket. Our investigator will resume with the investigations as of tomorrow morning and more details will be provided as we continue with our investigations after getting hold of all the witnesses and the victims. So yeah, that is what the spokesperson had to say about that. There's actually another update in which Langa said that Zilla was talking to people around the voting station and that someone decided to report her to the presiding officer, alleging that she was campaigning at the center. Langa goes on to say that the presiding officer allegedly requested that she should stop and that she should be removed from the area. That's when the police officers approached her and allegedly pushed her out, as well as taking her phone. Now the phone that is taken is reported to actually belong to Zilla and it seems like it was being used by someone else to actually record the incident according to information that the IPID had received. Now I've personally seen some of the comments on social media under this particular video of Helen Zilla being escorted out of the premise, I'll put it in a nice way. I see a lot of people saying that, you know what, good shot that it is a white officer escorting a white lady out of the premises. I've also seen some people talking about gender-based violence. I've also seen some people on the police officer's side saying that he was just doing his job and when he got to about the gate area, he gets assaulted himself. So at the end of the day, that is uh, basically the whole Helen Zilla voting station drama. And just like that, we have reached the end of the video. Now, if you did enjoy it, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.